It's good to have you back with us at Somaliland National Television. This is the English news program and I'm Isaac Ahmed. Let's take a look at the main stories making headlines. Minister of Presidency attends ceremony commemorating start of second phase road development project. Youth conference takes place focusing on growing emergence of illegal immigration. Turkey protests still rock capital city. Minister of Presidency Hirsi Hachi Ali Hassan attended the start of the second phase of the road bridging Somaliland to Djibouti. The minister stressed the significance of infrastructural projects occurring throughout the nation and the commitment of this administration to better building Somaliland. The Minister of Presidency conveyed a message to residents residing within the nation and abroad to work hard at providing more support and assistance to similar initiatives. He stated that infrastructure development is a major component of national progress and development. Other speakers at the event included government officials as well as engineers involved in the road development project. Somaliland's government, following a five-year development plan instituted by the Ministry of Planning and National Development, has and continues to implement several major infrastructure projects aimed at further beautifying the nation as well as providing adequate facilities to citizens nationwide. With the growing emergence of illegal immigration of Somaliland youth to other nations, a youth conference took place in which religious scholars, prominent members of the nation, and notable youth activists spoke on the urgency of curtailing such illegal activities. Religious scholars pointed out the relevance of these illegal immigration activities and how such choices the youth make are against the illegal, the religion of Islam. Other prominent figures and youth activists also spoke at the youth conference and sought out forum like discussions on finding methods of curtailing the illegal immigration taking place. There are reports of thousands of Somalian citizens either in foreign prisoners in the process of trafficking and deceased due to the difficulties faced during there are reports of thousands of Somalian citizens either in foreign prisoners in the process of trafficking or deceased due to the difficulties faced during such travels. An event commemorating the success of Hargeisa's basketball and soccer teams took place. A number of senior governmental and non-governmental figures were in attendance, as well as notable members of civil society. The national basketball and football tournaments are taking place in the capital city of Somaliland. Other guest speakers at the event highlighted the importance of sports in any developing nation and the underlining necessity of unity among citizens throughout the nation. Both teams won a number of games against rivals since the commencement of this sports tournament. You're still tuned into the English news program on Somaliland National Television and now for international headlines in detail. <music> Protests are still erupting in Turkey as the Turkish people portray their unanimous disapproval of government plans to build on the National Geza Park. Protests woke in Taskim Square, central Istanbul, the morning after Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Recep Erdogan called for an end to the violence. He told a crowd of 10,000 supporters he would not back down in the face of violence. The square near the disputed Geza Park remains a scene of occupation, with protesters setting themselves up for a long stay. They play volleyball, have set up a library, museum, and medical facilities. They say they will not be moved. One protester said he was disappointed with the Prime Minister's stance. He made two announcements, one at the airport, one at his home. They were both aggressive. I personally was hoping that he would back down a little bit, at least to ease the tension, but he didn't. All will be hoping for a swift resolution. The violence has killed three and left around 4,000 injured. Serious floods throughout Central Europe have impacted thousands of people as governments race to provide essential assistance to displaced people. Upstream, the LB surged through the Czech Republic. Flood claiming eight people's lives. More elsewhere, thousands moved to higher ground. Geography can make a deadly difference with variations in catchment areas. In the LB, high even ground around Dresden. Though did not reach the record set in Bohemia 11 years ago, water levels were falling on all Czech rivers on the fifth day of flooding. But the surge of water along the LB was still making its way north into Germany. Water in Prague began to recede and assessing the damage and cleaning up started. To the south, parts of Austria were flooded while the Danube was expected to have crested in Slovakia by now. Thank you for watching. That's the end of our news. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>